Everybody, Butch Hartman here. I'm the creator of the Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom and a bunch of other shows over on Nickelodeon. And I'm so excited because I know this is a, an interesting time in our lives. Everyone's kind of stuck at home. We got to find cool things to do. And one thing I thought I would do for you guys is uh, read some kids books. Why not? These are some kids books that I grew up with and I thought you guys would really enjoy uh, hearing me read one of them and then at the end I'll draw one of the characters from the book in my own style right over here. I got a sketchbook right here. I've got some pens. Ooh, look at that. that. These are pens. These are not electric. You don't have to download these and there's no apps. You just take the cap off and you can start drawing. Weird concept, I know. And uh, I got two books to choose from. I've got Are You My Mother? by P.D. Eastman and I've got Green Eggs and Ham, good old Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I find it ironic that this is called Green Eggs and Ham and this cover is green on this one. This is so strange, or kind of a bluish green. Anyway, shouldn't this be green? Any, uh, okay, I, look, it's, I'm not the one who made the books. I'm just going to read one. So which one will, I, will it be? Are You My Mother or Green Eggs and Ham? I think since I'm the only one deciding here, no one can really vote, I'm going to vote on Green Eggs and Ham. Here we go. All right, we'll read this one maybe next time. How Are You My Mother? That's a classic. I love it. Uh, but this one right now, Green Eggs and Ham, super fun. If you've never read this book before, allow me to illustrate. I'll, no, I'll illustrate it in a moment, but I'm going to read it out loud. Here we go. Ahem. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. This was made in 1960. That was a long ago era before the interweb. Okay, we have this picture. I am Sam. Okay, this guy, I am Sam. He's on a, some kind of a dog creature. And he runs past this man with a hat. I am Sam. And then he runs past the man again on a bigger creature and he says, Sam I am. I am Sam, Sam I am. And so this old crotchety man is in this, uh, in this chair right here, and he says, that's Sam I am, that's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam. Let me give him a voice. <clears throat> that's Sam I am, that's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. That's him, crotchety, grumpy. And then Sam I am comes back and says, do you like green eggs and ham? There's the green eggs and the ham. Do you like green eggs and ham? My first answer would be, no thanks. That's what I would say. Eggs aren't supposed to be green, and neither is the ham, so, you know. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. All right, so, all right, Sam, Sam I am is trying to make a friend. This dude doesn't want anything to do with it. And then Sam doesn't stop. He says, would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. So Sam I am is trying hard to make a buddy and the crotchety older guy just doesn't want any part of it. So then Sam I am says, would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? And I don't know if you can see it, there's a mouse right there. So somehow Sam I am has access to a house with a mouse in it. Uh, and I, when I see mice in a house, I'm like, hey, run down house. We have to tent the house. But anyway, all right. And then he says, I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. All right, so this guy wants, and by the way, I'm a little... I'm a little suspicious of Sam I am too, because the guy's got a house with mice in it, he's got these cats, he's got these hands, with the, and he's got the green, and he has access to green eggs and ham. So Sam I am has some connections. Then Sam I am says, would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Box and a fox. Where's he getting all this stuff? And then the crotchety old man says, not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam I am. Well, let's see what happens here. Sam's got a house with a mouse and a box and a fox. He's got a lot of cool things. I think he's like Bruce Wayne, like Batman. There's a lot of gadgets. 
Now he's in a car. Look at this. Sam I am's in a car. He says, would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them, here they are. And the grumpy old man says, I would not, could not, in a car. And Sam I am says, you may like them, you will see, you may like them in a tree. There's a tree right there. Where's Sam going? Driving up a tree in a car? He's kind of irresponsible. Maybe it's his parents' car. The grumpy old man says, I would not, could not, in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. All right, this guy is getting very upset. And Sam, I am is like, look, I don't care. I'm just forcing this, this food on you. This is a little suspicious. And Sam, I am says, a train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, in a train? A little Dr. Seuss train there. Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I would not, could not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. Whew. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Oh, there's a, he's going into a tunnel now. Going into a tunnel. Like a Mission Impossible moment where there's like a tunnel sequence coming up. Here's the dark tunnel. See how dark that is? Wow. Okay. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. Oh, what, did I miss a page? No, there's my page. And then Sam I am says, would you, could you, in the rain? They come out of the tunnel. Now it's raining. So I wonder where they are. Maybe they're like in, I don't know, maybe they're in like, California, coming out in the rain. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Now, now we're really seriously <clears throat> going on this train ride. Look at that train track. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. Like Sam's starting to get it now. What's up with Sam? Does he, not, does he not understand? Then he says, could you, would you, with a goat? Where is Sam getting all these animals? I just want to know, Sam has so much access. I would not, could not, with a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? Wow, Sam, all the stuff you have access to. I would not, could not, on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. And they're all splashing into the water. Look at this. Look at this tragic scene right here. It's like the Titanic. It's like the movie. But I think, I think things are going to work out just fine. I do not like green eggs and ham as he plunges into the water. I do not like them, Sam I am. Now he's underwater. Apparently they have the power to breathe underwater. I don't get that. These are amazing creatures. I do not like them, Sam I am. And Sam says, you do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. The grumpy old man is starting to give in. Like, hey, all right, look, maybe I'll try them just to get rid of you. And then the grumpy old man says, Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. And there he is right there. He's going to try the green eggs and ham. Have you ever been held back by a decision and finally forced to make one. Well, what did you do? Did you make the decision? Did you go for it or did you, or did you hang back? Did you, were you brave? Because the, the grumpy old man has to be brave here. He's going to try something he's never tried before. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been you know, wanting to try something but been a little nervous? Maybe sometimes it's okay to try something, depending on what it is, of course. So here's a moment where the grumpy old man is about to try the green eggs and ham. I always remember this picture as a kid when I read this book. Because it was very, a very telling picture. Like, this is the moment right here. The moment. He has a decision to make. Yes or no. And he tries them. And he goes, say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. Look how happy he is. Look at that. 
Oh, turning the page. If I could turn the page. And I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on a train, and in a car, and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox, and I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a spouse, no, mouse, and I will eat them here and there, and I will eat them anywhere. No, that's not, oh, yep, last page. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Right there. So they become pals, and they become green eggs and ham distributors, and they have a restaurant called uh, Sam I am's, I think, right? Is that what they have? Mr. Cameron, do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's uh, a great place. It's a great, you've been there? Oh, yeah. It's, like, almost you like the green? Day. They have other green things there, green food? Oh, yeah. Green eggs, green ham, green yeah. green, green tacos. Oh, for sure, green lettuce. Green lettuce. Green celery. Green. That's weird. Yeah. Green green lettuce. That's bizarre. I don't get that one. Yeah. Very weird. Yeah, that's really weird. How about green avocados? Even weirder. What? Yeah, I know, that right? Exists? So bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna draw now a picture of this. I'm gonna draw this picture for you right here, on this sketch pad. My cameraman's gonna come over here, lift up the camera. Here we go, and I got my sketch pad here. And we're going to draw this guy right before your very eyes. Are we good on the on the on the on the sketch pad there? I believe so. All right, there we go. I'm just going to draw uh, my version. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to kind of copy Dr. Seuss's uh, version. Dr. Seuss has always influenced my art in many many ways. Uh, I just love his artwork, and uh, he's got a really unique, amazing style. And uh, he's influenced so many artists over the years. Uh, this book came out before I was even born, but uh, it really uh, was read to me many, many times as a kid, and of course it was read in school and all that stuff, so I'm a very big fan of uh, Green Eggs and Ham. And let's see, I ran out of page here, so I'm going to shorten his body a little bit, and let's see. I like these Dr. Seuss creatures, they kind of have little uh, furry fingers, like Muppets almost. I actually wonder if... Uh, Dr. Seuss kind of influenced the Muppets a little bit. So I'm going to kind of do my own little style here. He's got this cool little hat. Now I'm just doing this in pencil. I'm going to ink it in a moment here with some actual ink. There we go. And let's draw the green eggs and ham over here. Everyone knows this classic picture. Uh, wouldn't it be great if we could all create something this memorable? I'll bet you're a very creative person. And you could definitely create something super memorable for people. So I challenge you during this time when everybody's home and you got some extra time on your hands. Now here's my ink pen. Uh, it's a little brush pen. It looks like a little paintbrush. I'm just going to kind of ink it a little bit here. And uh, but during this time where everyone's home. And uh, you have an extra chance to maybe spend some time drawing or creating. Why don't you create your own kid's book? I think that'd be great. I think you'd be really good at it, too. And I think that uh, you would be able to uh, do a book just as good as this one. Because look at the legacy Dr. Seuss has left behind. It's not just the one book that he made. But he created a legacy for years to come. People will read his books for the next you know, 500 years, they'll be around forever. All right, so here's the little plate. I'm kind of trying to ink it like Dr. Seuss too with the little hash marks and things that he uses. So there's my green eggs and ham. Uh, now I'm gonna draw the, uh, the grumpy old man. I don't think he even has a name, really. I know there's a movie called Green Eggs. I know there's an animated film, Green Eggs and Ham, and he has a name in it, I think, but I don't know what it is. There's other Dr. Seuss books I like too. I like I love the Cat in the Hat. You like that one, Mr. Cameraman? That one's my favorite. Really? Yeah. Do you like the hat part or the cat part? I'm very partial to the hat part. Really? You like you're into the hats? Into the hats. Because if you see a picture of the hat, you know what it is. Right. Not so much the cat. Oh really? So the, the hat really just sells it. Boom. Just like that. Because it's a big striped, like a like a peppermint stick hat, or like a yeah, like a candy cane kind of a thing. I love candy canes. Now let's not get into an argument here. I understand that. That's good. So here's um, I'm putting some ink over this pencil because the ink really makes it pop out from the page. And if you guys can practice your inking. 
it's really fun uh, to make pictures. Can you get a good shot of that there? Yeah, got it. All right, good, good. By the way, my cameraman is 12 feet tall. He's, he's squatting down to uh, film this right now. It's very uncomfortable. I know. I'm sorry. I know you're super tall. Okay, we're almost done with our drawing, but I wanted to show you that, you know, for years I would practice drawing Dr. Seuss stuff because of these books. So when you guys create your own book, like, you know, I created some cartoons myself and people have told me I've influenced them, but you can create stuff and it can influence you as well. I mean, influence other people as well. It'll influence you. But your stuff is going to influence people you'll never meet. You'll never meet all of them. But you know what? It'll be awesome because um, they're going to feel uh, the uh, intent of your art. They're going to see, they're going to be really inspired by what things look like and how things are written. It's really going to help um, inspire people. So always know that your art is not meant just for you, it's meant for other people. Should I turn this like this maybe? Yeah, there you go. Is that a better shot? There you go. Now put the side by side with the book. Okay, I'll put it side by side. So look, let's see how close I got. Pretty close. Not exact, but kind of close. Yeah, so there you go, guys. All right, that's my version. I'm going to sign my drawing here. Okay, so there you go. There is my drawing. That's kind of fun. And these are things you guys can do while you're at home right now during this time. Be creative, you know, get out there, be creative. Um, you know, stay, just stay focused on what it is you want to do. Don't let the, uh, the fact you got to stay inside or kind of limit your uh, travels right now. Don't let that, don't let that um, intimidate you or limit you because you can travel anywhere you want to with your creativity. Okay? Don't forget about that. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. We'll read another kid's book next time. Hope you had a good time. And don't forget, art gives you power. Use it wisely.